Hey y'all, what's up? It's John with Superfly, BeSuperfly.com. Um, I was looking through Elegant Themes Designs and I really liked this juice bar here. Um, and I liked the shadow that they had on this main title. And then I actually came across this Shine JS library the other day. Let me go ahead and refresh this. And I liked how this shadow kind of moved with the mouse. I don't know if you can see that. And there's some controls up here that you can change some things. Um, so to, to kind of see what they do, or you could make the shadow longer, and you got to be a little careful in performance there. Probably keep that down, like that opacity here. We could make that offset how long the shadow is, and kind of get some cool effects like that going on, or blur. Maybe you just you just want it like that, and turn the opacity down. So I, anyway, I wanted to use this uh, in Divi on this on this guy. Um, so first, what I did was I loaded I loaded this layout, and then initially, when you load this layout, this first section is a full width section. So I actually just remade a standard section instead and used this as a background image. So I did a new standard section. I have that as the background image. I made it. Um, the height 100 vertical height so it'll take the whole width or the whole height of my screen and then the rest of the layout is just the regular stuff that they have and this is just a text module right now and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to number one I'm going to have this page open this fork on github page I'm going to open that in a new tab because that's going to show me how to use it it's going to have some code examples down here and uh, the part we really want to look at is down here on the properties number steps the opacity and what these do so I'm going to be using this so again that's about probably halfway down the page there this guy right here shine JS config properties so I'm gonna leave that right there and the other thing I'm going to do is go ahead and download this zip file press that download zip which I've already done that. When you do that, you're going to get this zip file here. So go ahead and unzip it. And then what you'll want to do is open this up and go to the, uh, first of all, there's all these demos here you can check, and we're doing the mouse follow one. Um, but I'll give you code, so you don't have to worry about that. But go ahead and go into this distribution, and you're going to want to take this shinemin.js, and you're going to want to put it on your web server through FTP or through your hosting cPanel you want to put this somewhere um, and so for in my example um, I've put it I've put it on the same domain and then I have it in uh, I have it I have it so I have it on the same domain and you can see I put it in this Josephine folder add-on shine shine.min.js so this file right here that is, uh, that's this guy here. And that's the only one you need from the steel. The rest of the time, we're going to work with this shine.html here that I've made. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up in a code editor. And I'm going to go ahead and hide my, hide my sidebar there. And I'll just go through what this code does. So here's, the first thing you're, you're going to want to do is you're going to want to, put the address to your shine.min.js on your server here. So you see up here we have artillerymedia.co and then our website. Um, so you want to have it, so that's why I have loaded up on artillerymedia.co. So that part's kind of the manual part that you have to do is upload this file, this shine.min.js that you download from here. You have to upload that file to your server. Okay, enough said about that. And then this whole script here is what's going to call the Shine JS effect and put it on your on your page. Um, so a couple things we have to do here. So this first part here, I've just included some of the common things that we might want to change, like like the number of steps. I think four is about right, four to five to start with. Opacity is 0.1 or 10 percent. That seems right. This opacity PO. Uh, pow we're gonna mess with that but the default is 1.2 and you can see the default for these things 
on this page. There's that opacity pow number default 1.2, the exponent applied to each step's opacity, and whatever that means, but we'll just mess around with it and find out. Blur is going to be 40 right now. Offset's going to be 0.15, which is the default. And then our shadow color is written in RGB, red, and so it's 000 is black, black, black. And let me open up Photoshop so you can kind of see how they get those red, green, blue values. I'm sure online there's generators as well, but if I open up my color palette here, I have all black. Right here's my hex, but you see RGB right here, and that's 000. So if I wanted to use this red, then I would use 222, 33, 33, and I would put that right here, 222, 33, 33. So that's kind of just some options to set it up with, and actually this needs to be indented like that. So we're, so we're, we're going in first and setting some options for our Shine JS shadow. And then we're actually going to call the Shine JS, and we're going to put it on an ID, an element that has an ID of headline. So that's important to notice. And then this right here just does the, does the mouse movement stuff, and then it actually draws the shadow, and then this listens for when the mouse moves, and the end. So I'm not a JavaScript expert, so I don't know what all this means, but the important things to note are there's some, there's some values we can set beforehand, so we can kind of edit this thing a bit. And then we're going to put this on an element that has an ID of headline. And that's the main reason why I had to rebuild this top section using a, a normal standard section, because I wanted to be able to put an ID on my heading here. So that's, that's what, so step one, what we're going to do is I'm going to just copy this, um, because on mobile, it doesn't really work that well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to disable this guy on desktop only. But I'm going to keep this one on for tablet and mobile. And then this guy, as you can imagine, I'm going to turn him off for, for mobile and tablet and leave him on for desktop. And then I'm going to go into this one and take off the shadow that, that, so here I have my title, I'd say heading one. So I'm going to go into the design, go into the heading, heading one, heading text area, and I'm going to remove the shadow that's on there. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my content here, my text. And if you remember, we need to add the ID headline. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this headline. And I'm going to switch to the text view. And in my H1 tag there, I'm going to say ID equals, and then paste in the headline like so. And check mark this. And so right now we got the we got this ready to go. So now we're ready to add our code. So I'm going to go over here and copy. I'm going to select all this code and copy it. And uh, you could put that. Normally you'd put that in your in your Divi theme options integration area, probably in the in the head area. But since I'm just working on this page, I'm just going to add it to this directly to this page, just for this guy only. So I'm going to add a new module here. I'm going to just search for the code module. And I'm just going to go ahead and paste all that code I did right there and hit yes. And then I'm going to save this guy. Now while that's saving, I'm going to run over here. So this is what we had originally. And now that it's saved, I'm going to go ahead and refresh. And so now you see we have that cool shadow moving around there as I move my mouse, which is just a little fun interactive interactive deal. If I go down to the tablet, it's going to swap out for that other one that doesn't do it. Um, because There's really no mouse movement on tablet, but it's just a cool thing for here. So now that we have this working, let's go in there. Let's go into this code module, which is kind of hard to find. If you have a hard time finding the code module, because there's our disabled heading one, here's our heading one up here, and in between the two you have this this guy right here, which is our code module. If you have trouble finding that, you can always open up your menu. And this might be down here for you, but I put this up here so it doesn't get in the way of my video. But you can open this guy up and turn to wireframe mode, and then you can see the code right there. So, um, but I'm going to switch back and just, I'm going to switch back to that view and just go ahead and just find the, the code module here, open it up. All right, so now, 
I'm going to leave number of steps on four, but opacity, I'm going to turn this guy up to maybe like 80%. And then this opacity POW, I'm going to leave that right now. The blur, I'm going to bring this down to like maybe 10. And then the offset, I'm just going to do 0.5. I'm going to leave it black for now, but let's see what this does. So I'll just go ahead and save it. All right, refresh my page. And then now you can kind of see what it's, what it's doing here, which this could be cool, especially if I had like a, like a purple background or something like that. And I was using this, which, you know, I might try in a bit here. But if that was super faint in the background, that could be pretty sweet. I'll just duplicate this really quick and, well, actually, I'm, I'm going to leave this for now. Actually, we're going to keep messing around with, with this. So actually, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my section background here, and I'm actually going to, going to get rid of, no, let me do this first. Let me, let me duplicate this section, and then let me just hide it. Let me disable it so I can have my original guy ready to go. All right. Okay. So now I'm going to go into this one and I'm going to go ahead and clear out my background here. And I'm just going to do a, a, a background solid color. Of, we'll just use the classic Divi purple here. And then I'm actually going to go up here and make this text, the heading text, I'm going to match it to the same purple, which disappears back here. But not to worry, it's there in the front. So we'll see what this does now and see what kind of cool deal we can get. So there we go. That's interesting. I'm going to reset some of these code options to their original. So like opacity was what? 0.15 and blur was up at 40. Offset was 0.15. And um, yeah, let's do that. Just show you the original the original intents shine like you're shining a flashlight on the on the deal. So now I'm going to refresh. And yeah, that's pretty sick. So but we can also, you know, use some of these other values to really spruce it up a bit. So let's go in back into our code here. And this time, let me go pick a color, like a pink color. So 239, 23, 206, 239, 23, 206. So 239, 23, 206, I believe. And then let's do the offset. Let's go back to 0.5 on that. Number of steps, we'll do six. Opacity, we'll bring that up a bit. And then we're going to, let's raise this guy up to 1.8 just to see what it does. And blur will go up to 60. Okay. So as you can see, you can just play around with, with those values. And start to get some interesting effects. So you kind of have to watch out a little bit on the uh, on performance the more you do the more performance driven it's going to be so actually I'm going to go in and match the font color here so heading text h1 and I'm going to go in and grab this hex value e that one there there we go So yeah, so you can see it's starting to do some, some cool things. I'm going to go ahead and ditch this, get back to our original guy here and enable it. And then I'm just going to go back to my original values for the, uh, for the blur. So opacity, I believe, was 1.5. Four steps, 1.2. Blur was 40. Offset was, I think, 0.15. Let me look. Offset 0.15. Opacity 0.1.
So that's the basics pretty much of how to use Blur.js. Now, since you are using it on an element, I'd only recommend using this on one item per page. Yeah, there we go. That's pretty sweet. Um, or even if this was a white background, let me go in and make this a white background. Or here, I'm gonna, I want to leave. I want to leave the uh, the image there. I don't want to clear that out. So I'm just going to add a gradient. And actually, ooh, that's cool. I added that earlier. I forgot about that. Let me save that. This is so it's a white gradient going down to a gray one with some transparency involved. And yeah, there you go. You can kind of see. So anyway, that's the basics of how to use this. Um, I'll be sure to have this code download, um, a link to download this code that you can use. But you'll want to swap this line out with your the version that you load. Because loading from another site, a domain, might cause this use, especially if you have an SSL certificate. Um, so yeah, that is how you use this. Again, I'm not a JavaScript expert, so I can't really support this uh, tutorial like as far as hey how would I do this or that I just know what I showed you using these basic tools this page here has a lot more that you can do tons more with it I'm sure and again in the examples that they have uh, let me see if I can find those examples again let me open this up so we're using let me see demos we're using the mouse follow one which is this guy where it follows your mouse but they also have uh, like an autopilot one that it doesn't follow your mouse, but it constantly just spins around like that, which is kind of cool too. And so you could open up that code. You could open up this guy in your code editor and kind of compare the two and see how they did it. So it looks like it's all this part right here. And then you'd have to figure out how to add in this this piece beforehand before the yeah I think you'd add this piece right before here like right there you'd add that piece right right before this var shine new shine thing and remember to always have the ID be headline or you could change that to be whatever you want your ID to be so anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and yeah I'll make sure that these links are available for you to download and check out alright take care